So let's get into it. What are the options to get from here to there? Um, I've categorized these options into two main categories. One category just allows you to migrate uh, your existing content into Oracle BI Enterprise Edition. There are two toolkits that we'll discuss to, to enable you to accomplish this. Uh, one is the metadata migration assistant that Oracle provides, and the other is a toolkit built by KPI to enable uh, real-time reporting and discover migrations. The second category that we'll discuss is to deploy enhanced analytical functionality um, by implementing Oracle BI apps and supplementing that for situations where you need uh, real-time reporting with the KPI's real-time extensions to Oracle BI apps. So let's talk about migrating to uh, Oracle BI Enterprise Edition. So for those who are not familiar with OBIE, uh, I want to briefly mention it is the it is Oracle's strategic BI platform. Um, Oracle is continuously enhancing OBIE with the latest scalability features, uh, visualization features, and mobile enablement features. So there's a ton of information both on the Oracle website and on the KPI Partners website for those who are interested in learning more about OBIE. For example, Oracle has recently released a BI mobile application designer that I would encourage everyone to explore. Let's briefly go through as we talk about how to migrate to OBIE, what, how do you relate discovered components to OBIE components? So users, uh, as Malini mentioned, used to build and view reports in Oracle Discover using Discover Plus and Discover Viewer. The equivalent tool in OBIE is called OBIE Answers. You could combine multiple reports into a single view using Discover Reporter Provider. The equivalent tool is OBIE Dashboards. Metadata in, in Discover is built and maintained using Discover Ad Administrator. There is a very similar Windows client tool in OBIE called the Admin tool. The um, Discover metadata is actually called uh, an EUL. Uh, I'll mention this in, in passing. In OBIE, metadata is stored in a proprietary file called the RPD. Uh, so you will see as we talk about the conversion processes that you're actually converting your EUL to an RPD. So when you migrate from Discover to OBIE, you, need, you get a number of enhanced features and functions. Um, I'll outline just a few of them. OBIE has a, is a much more robust, uh, scalable architecture. It has higher performance um, capabilities. You get much better visualizations, uh, much wider support for a lot of different da database sources, and also get data federation capabilities. To summarize again, Oracle BI EE is Oracle's strategic direction for BI. Um, and as you evaluate this, uh, you, will, you will see that, enhance, that you get much enhanced functionality compared to Discover. So what is uh, the Discover Migration uh, Assistant? So it is a command line utility, which interface that what does it do? It takes, uh, reads your Discover EUL and generates an OBIE RPD. So it has a number of details or configuration options that you can use to tweak the model that you generate. And in most cases, it will take multiple iterations to get it right. So we found that the utility does much better and is much easier to use if your discover data model is a star schema than if it is a much more complex schema like Oracle EBS. So there's a five-step process that we uh, follow uh, with your discover migration utility. You explore, export your discover metadata into an EEX file. You configure and run discover migration assistant. And as I mentioned before, this is a iterative process. You run the, uh, run the utility assistant um, look at the RPD that it generated, and then perhaps go back and tweak the configuration parameters and then regenerate your RPD. The um, migration assistant actually uh, generates Oracle BIE 10G version RPD. So you have to run through the um, upgrade process, which is a fairly quick process to upgrade your RPD from OBIE 10G to 11G. And then you go, use the metadata that has been generated to build uh, OBIE answers, requests, and dashboards. So as, and presumably you have already consolidated your report list and you can use uh, the new features in OBIE to actually deploy enhanced content uh, for your users. 
So the next option I'll discuss is the use of the KPI real-time toolkit. So this is also a command line utility. Uh, KPI has taken a slightly different approach to the problem of uh, converting, uh, uh, migrating from Discover to OBIE. So people who know uh, Discover well uh, know that it is possible to extract the SQL that is generated with each workbook. Uh, what we have done is take that feature and built a set of automation tools around it that will go from workbook queries to a set of consolidated database views and then automatically generate uh, OBIE 11G RPD from these views. So in this case, we have a, actually have a four-step process uh, using the KPI Partners uh, real-time toolkit. Uh, we create and generate database views from workbook queries. Uh, we go through a process of consolidation um, to uh, consolidate multiple views into, uh, that share the common metadata. We run the KPI RPD generator, which um, generates the OBIE metadata based on the view. And then we go ahead and build OBIE answers requests and dashboards based on, um, on the workbooks that, ha that have been migrated. Uh, there is no need for the step to uh, upgrade 10G to 11G because uh, the KPI RPD generator already generates uh, 11G RPD. Uh, some of the features that I wanted to highlight of the KPI real-time toolkit, uh, especially for EBS customers, there is automated uh, key flex field support. Uh, there is automated uh, descriptive flex field support. Uh, we also handle um, changes to views, uh, automatically detect changes uh, to database views and uh, regenerate the metadata uh, as needed. And we also um, retain manual changes uh, in the RPD after the views have been generated. So to summarize, um, you can use uh, the KPI's real-time toolkit to generate OBIE 11G RPD as part of your migration process from Discoverer, uh, and use the um, automation features like um, key, key flex field, descriptive flex field uh, automation to maintain your RPD metadata as well. So the second major category of uh, migration options that I want to discuss um, is uh, how do you explore, how do you deploy um, more enhanced functionality, um, greater cross-functional reporting, and um, uh, greater coverage for your other ERP systems uh, using a solution called the Oracle BI applications. So what are the Oracle BI applications? They are a set of uh, pre-built analytics and reporting modules uh, delivered by Oracle. These meet not only your operational reporting needs, but also analytical needs such as trending and year-over-year -year growth and so forth. Oracle provides a set of prepackaged analytic applications, uh, such as financial analytics, procurement spend analytics, HR analytics, and so on. Each of these applications use OBIE as a reporting platform. There are more than 100 star schemas that come with these applications. As part of these applications, you get hundreds of pre-built uh, metrics, um, industry best practice calculations. If you have a multi-source environment, for example, you have uh, Oracle EBS for financials, uh, PeopleSoft for HR, and Siebel for CRM, you can get prepackaged ETL that will populate the data warehouse for all of these sources and automatically enable cross-functional dashboards um, and reporting. Uh, there is a lot of detailed information about these analytic applications on both the Oracle website uh, and the KPI Partners website. Please contact us if you need more information about this. Finally, as we uh, discuss Oracle BI applications with our customers, our customers often say to us, you know the BI apps are great for about 90% of my use cases, uh, where I don't need real-time data, and can wait for nightly batch processes to run, but I really have some use cases where I need real-time information. I need to have up-to-the-minute information on what orders are on hold. Right, so uh, customers have said to us um, that how do I migrate away from Discover and retain my ability to um, do real-time reporting during the last week of the month for orders and shipments, and also uh, how to do um, uh, real-time reporting during the first week of the month for uh, journal entry postings and uh, creating trial balances and so forth. Right. So as, in a, as a response to these requests, KPI has built an extension to Oracle BI apps that allows you to build real-time reports directly from the source EBS system. The offering comes with pre-seeded content uh, for, with more than 100 views in financials, supply chain, 
uh, procurement spend, etc. These meet most of the common use cases where customers have asked for real-time data from EBS. Uh, we are constantly adding to these pre-built content, but our customers are also using this as a starter kit and building many real-time reports to replace their existing Discover reports um, on their own. Please review the KPI Partners website for additional information on this offering, and uh, feel free to contact us if you need more information. To summarize, uh, if you have Oracle EBS and perhaps even other ERP systems um, as uh, your source discovery reporting, consider implementing the Oracle BI apps as your migration path from Discoverer. If you have real-time reporting requirements as you do this, uh, KPI can help with uh, its real-time extension to Oracle BI apps.